Don't put your daughter on the stage, Mrs. Worthington. Don't put your daughter on the stage. I spent three days deciding, round and round in my head. It could be good for my career. It could get around. My mother could see it. I don't want to go naked. What, am I ashamed? We needed the money. I paid the phone bill. It was a close set, which means there were just three dozen men hanging around. I was in a robe. Some guy brought me coffee. I'm shaking so much I splash it on my hand. There's a lot of joking around. Everybody over polite as if I'm terminally ill or something. Then Mr. H escorts me to the tub. And he holds my hand as I step in. And then he says, disrobe, my dear. In front of everyone. They all have turned their back. As if that's the polite thing to do. Even the dresser looked elsewhere. And I'm looking around at how big the sound stage is, in darkness everywhere. I'm lit like cut glass. The bow on the cord of the rope has turned into a knot, and it takes me some time to undo it. And I'm angry at the time it takes me because I did not hesitate. But I look hesitant. Then it's undone, so I slip the robe off my shoulders and I hand it to the dresser. And all I can think is my hands. I don't know where to put my hands. I mean, not over my breasts, because that would be coy. It's almost as if I've never been naked before. And as the dresser walks away, every man in the studio turns and looks at me, in unison. And they're all super busy, as if to say, I'm a pro, you're a pro, let's get to work. But what I discern from this is that they can look at me all afternoon. I can't possibly look back at every one of them. I am theirs to look at. And gradually I felt better than I have in a long, long time. My heart begins to race. And I'm thinking, Christ, don't let me get wet. But I'm tingling. I mean, I'm ringing like a bell and no one can hear me. No one even seems to notice. And then I came. I hardly moved a muscle, but I came. Can you believe that? And the next thing I thought was, I wonder what'll happen when I tell him. You know I've got no shame for what we are. It's a miracle.